Hey everyone, welcome to this complete Shopify tutorial for beginners. If you're looking to build your online store, you've come to the right video. Shopify is an incredibly powerful and beginner-friendly platform that makes setting up your online shop easy. In this video, we'll guide you step-by-step -step through the entire process. From setting up for Shopify to adding your first product, customizing your store's design, and setting up payments. So without further ado, let's get started now the first step we have to do is sign up for shopify if you want to create an account while watching this tutorial head on over to the description down below to find a link that will bring you to shopify's website where you can sign up now with this exclusive link you can get a longer free trial and an exclusive deal on shopify for the first month it's honestly the best deal that you can get on the internet and there's no other deal like it so moving on let's actually get started with the signing up for Shopify. It's really simple. First, click on start free trial and once you start your free trial, you have to enter your email address. Once you do that, you can answer a couple of questions. So you can skip these if you want, it really doesn't matter. Then choose the region that you are from. Then click on next over here. Once you do that, you are going to choose the way that you want to sign up on Shopify, whether it's your Google email or your Facebook email, whatever you prefer, just choose that and then you can proceed. And now once you have completed your sign up, we can get started with actually choosing our plan on Shopify. So let's enter our Shopify dashboard. Now, when we enter our Shopify dashboard, we will have the option to select a plan. Click on select a plan over here. Shopify has four basic plans. I recommend you get started with the basic plan because it's super suitable for growing businesses and new entrepreneurs. So click on select basic. Once you click on select basic, just input your payment information and then you can subscribe to Shopify. Once you've subscribed to your Shopify plan, confirm your business address. Now we can proceed with actually setting up our Shopify store. So now that you have created your Shopify account, it's time to get started with picking out the right theme for your store. To do this, click on online store on the left. Once you do that, you can scroll down and you will see different themes that are available. By default, the Dawn theme will be available and it will be your current published theme. It's an already pre-downloaded theme. You can decide whether to use this or not, but let me show you where you can pick out a different theme from just in case you want to try that. So scroll down and under your popular free themes, on the bottom right, you can click on visit theme store. This will open up the Shopify theme store in a new panel. There are so many amazing themes that you can actually choose from. You can filter them out based on different industries, catalog sizes, and some other quirky features. You can also filter out the free and paid ones. So for now, I am going to proceed with our default Dawn theme, but you can always choose to change it as you go. So we're going to go back into Shopify and we're going to stick with the default theme because it has been proven for good conversion. Now it's time for our store branding. Here is where you can go all out with customizations and stores overall branding. Still on your themes page, click on customize on your current theme. Once you do that, this is going to open up your store editor. If you need to change anything about your store's branding, here's where you can do that. So first, let's change this image banner of our store. To do this, simply click on the image banner on the left. You will see there are two sections within each image banner. One is the button, the second is the text. To change your image first, I'm going to click on the image banner. Once I do that, I have two available options. I can build an image banner with two images. Images. So I'll click on select image and then I can click on upload image. From here, I can go on ahead and upload a image that I want to use for my image banner. So I will be using this image. Click on open over here and wait for your image to be completely uploaded. Then click on done over here to change the image. Once you have changed the image, you can scroll down and adjust the sizing of this image. So you can change the overlay, which means a darkified version of your image is going to be presented. So text is more visible. Then you also can adjust the height as well as the content alignment. So whether you want the text to be on the left, center, or at the right. Below that, you can also customize color schemes and add animations. Now we have customized the image. Let's also change the tagline. Simply click on the text over here and then type in your new tagline. Now, once you've inserted your new tagline, let's 
also customize our button. So click on button over here and we can customize our button text from here like this. Now, once we've done that, it's time to actually add a custom logo. To add our own custom logo, we have to go into our theme settings. To do that, click on this gear icon on the top left. Once you click on this gear icon, click on logo. Now, you're going to click on select image. Click on add images and upload your logo for your business. So I'll be using this logo over here. Now, once we've done that, we're going to see how it looks like on on our store. So this is what it looks like on our store. We have the desktop with as well. Once you're done uploading your logo, you're going to see it on the left side of your header. Now you can also add your own brand's color and fonts by doing this. To do that, go back into your theme settings on the top left. Then click on colors. You can choose different color schemes and you, and you can even create your own. You can also go into typography and change the fonts that are used. Now, once we've done that, the next step is to actually start adding products. So we're going to go back into our dashboard by clicking on exit on the top left. If you're selling your own product, you can simply go into product on the left panel, then click on add products. Once you do that, you can just enter your product information. But if you're drop shipping products from AliExpress or other e-commerce website, then you're going to need to import those. If you're interested in doing that, let me know in the comments below and I will make a video and show you how you can actually import product into your Shopify store. Now, now, after clicking on add product, you're going to add the relevant information for each one of your products. So first off, we're going to add a title. Our title is going to be scalp scrubber. Now, after we've done that, we can add a description. We can actually use AI to write our description because if you're not sure what you want to add about product descriptions, I recommend that you use AI. All you need to do is to click on this icon and then add a basic keyword like this. You can add some of the features materials or anything else about your product and then just click on generate. Once you do that, you can choose the tone and then click on keep to add your description. Now head on over into the media section and upload the image files for your particular product. So I'm going to be inserting these photos. Now as those are uploading, let's set a price for our product. To do that, you're going to simply enter the price over here. You can also calculate your profits and margins by adding your cost per item. Now go into to inventory. If you want Shopify to track your inventory, add the amount of stock you have. So let's say I have a thousand units. Now, below that you have shipping. You can set a weight for your product, especially if you have larger sized products. Now, if you want to add multiple different variants of your product from sizes, colors, materials, and size, you can go ahead and add them in variants. Just choose the variant option name and then add the variant options. Now, once you add your variant options, click on done. Repeat the same process until all of your products have now been inserted and then hit save on the top right to save your product. Now that you've added your product on Shopify, it's time to make collections. Adding collections for your product is a great way to keep everything organized. So let's head on over into the collections tab here and set up our first collection. To do that, click on product and then click on collections on the top left. Now click on create collection. You can do this in the automated version or a manual version. I'm going to choose the manual version because I like to add products manually. Then go on ahead and add a title. So this is going to be hair care and then click on add image on the right to add a representative image for your product. Then click on save on the top right. Once you do that, you can go back into products to add product into your collection. So to insert this into my newly created collection, I'll simply click on the product and then on the right you have categories, product types, and then collections. Click on collections and select your new collection. Then click on save on the top right to insert your product into your newly created collection. Now that we've added our product and created a collection, it is time to go back to doing some more customizations for our store. So to do these customizations, we're going to click on online store and under online store, we're going to dive into our themes. Once we click on themes, we're going to click on customize on our active theme. This will take us back to our Shopify store editor. And here you can see there usually is already going to be a featured collection inserted into the home page. So I'm going to click on this and then I will click on the trash icon because I don't need my featured products to be listed on my home page. Now, once I do that, I will be led in my home page in the left panel. Now I can click on add 
add section and we can add more content to our home page from here we can display some of the collections that we have created simply by searching for collection and then we can click on our collection list or a featured collection so we can click on our featured collection then from the left click on the featured collection once more scroll down and then click on select collection and choose the new collection that you have just created then go back and click on the heading dialog box over here you can change the heading and you can have a new heading or a new label for us i want this to be hair care products then i can go back and then save from the top left to save these changes and voila you have a new home page ready now now to customize other pages in your store like the products collections blogs you can do it all from this top panel here click on home page on the top center of your screen once you do that you can reveal a drop down menu in this drop down menu you can access a different page for example let's access our product page once i open up my product page i can edit the sections as i did for my home page simply by clicking on add section to add new sections and adding different blocks to display more information about our product now once we have completed editing our home page and the other pages of our website it's time to edit our navigation menu as you guys can see currently it looks a bit bland so to begin customization of our navigation menu click on exit on the top left once you click on exit you're going to go into your online store and then once you go into online store click on navigation again on the left once you click on navigation you will see a main menu click on this main menu here in your main menu by default you have three items so from here click on add menu item and you can add a new page or new menu item let's say i want a direct link to my product so i'll click on product and click on the scalp scrubber and the page name is also going to be scalp scrubber and then i'm just going to click on save and just like that you can add another menu item now from here you can also add some menu items and it makes sense for products like electronics clothing to have sub menu items to add sub menu items you're going to select a specific menu item for example i want scalp scrubber to be a sub menu item of our catalog to do that just hold it from the left by these three dots and then move it towards the right once you move it towards the right it will be inserted as a sub menu item now once you do that click on save and i'll show you guys what it looks like on our online store so under catalog we're going to go and click on customize on our online store and now under catalog we're going to have a direct link for our particular product present now once we have completed our products collections navigation menu and basic customizations it's time to add our store policies it's important to include policies such as a refund policy a shipping policy as well as terms of service on our store and shopify really provides a very simple way to do all of this all you have to do is click on settings on the bottom left then scroll down and click on policies on the left panel from here you will see different types of policies click on create from template under each policy over here now once you click on create from template they will add a default policy now with these policies you're going to have to customize these so you're going to go ahead and once these are inserted make sure that the return addresses the emails that they are using any information provided is accurate to your business as well and make sure to also insert a shipping policy and you also have to include contact information about your store once you do that you're going to click on save on the top right now we have created our policies but we now have to insert these into our footer menu on our store to do that simply exit back into your dashboard then click on your online store then click on navigation click on footer menu over here and then click on add menu item then from the right dialog box select the search or paste a link box click on policies over here and insert your policies add all of your store policies one by one like so and by default the name is set as the same policy as you insert so you don't have to type it in every time like so and just like that we have now inserted all of
of our store policies under our footer menu. Click on save on the top right and just like that we have a footer menu that has all information about our store policies inserted into our store. Now right before we launch our actual store you're going to want to set up a payment system so that customers can actually complete their checkout and pay. To do this we're going to go into our dashboard and then go into settings. Under settings you're going to click on payments on the left and then activate Shopify payments. Fill out all the details to complete the process. This will allow your customers to choose between different payment options like credit card, Apple Pay, PayPal and more. PayPal is available by default and it's better to keep it as it is to maintain conversion. Next up is setting your store's shipping rates. Still remaining on our settings page, we're going to click on shipping and delivery. From here, you can set up different shipping rates based on the regions you're going to be shipping to. To add a dynamic range on shipping rates based on weight or price of the product. If you've imported your product from a different website, the shipping rate usually is going to already be available to you. Now, before actually launching our store, here are a couple of more details to look out for. First off, go into your settings page and then go into store details. This is your first page under your settings page and you need to make sure that the profile information about your store is correct. So your store details include things like your phone number, store name, email address, and billing information, as well as your store's currency, time zone, and order IDs. Now you have to ensure that all of these are correct. And if you need to fill your taxes, you can set it up under taxes and duties on the left panel. Now, once you have completed this, now once you have completed your taxes and duties, go on and go into your store's branding on the left panel by clicking on brand. Here you can upload your logo and add, and add your brand colors to make sure your store looks more put together. Now for the final step, which is actually setting up our custom domain. To do this, we are going to go into domains on the left and our custom domain is actually the URL of our store. So if you already have an existing domain, simply click on connect existing domain, insert your domain and follow the instructions. But if you don't, then click on buy new domain. Type in the domain you want and if it's available, you can choose to purchase it. Once done, it'll automatically be available to your store. Now, before going live and publishing our store, we need to remove the password from our store. To do this, simply head on over to your dashboard and then click on online store on the left. Once you click on online store on the left, you will see a line that says your online store is password protected. Click on remove password over here and your store is now live. And there you have it, a complete beginner's guide to setting up your Shopify store. By following the steps we've covered, you're now equipped to launch your own e-commerce site. Remember, the key to success is to keep experimenting with different products and designs to see which best reflects your values of your audience. Don't be afraid to use Shopify's extensive resources. And once again, if you want to sign up on Shopify, and claim a huge discount and bonus, make sure to head on over to the description box down below. You can get a longer free trial and an exclusive deal on Shopify for the first month. Thanks for watching and I hope this tutorial helped you build your Shopify store. Make sure to go on ahead and leave a like and then I'll see you guys next time. Have a fantastic day ahead.